So we are back from the yard sale. Got back late Monday. I just dumped all the stuff in this back room here. I was working yesterday, so I haven't even looked at it. This morning, first thing, I've tested a few bits. And so far, so good. All of it is working. I've tested all of those cameras. All of those look pretty good. Now, it is Wednesday. It is my usual sourcing day, but I don't really know what to do. I've got plenty here I could be getting on and listing. But while they're open, the best use of my time today is probably going to the charity shops. The burger on the end of the rail here. Burger House Dark 35. Love the colour of that backpack. How much is it? That's a magic question. Five quid. With backpacks, so look at the bottom, see if it's scuffed. But this looks pretty good condition. Bit of vintage Burghouse. Looking at eBay solds, these go for about 25 quid. But it's always good to start the day with a backpack. I've now got somewhere to put everything I find in. Aim today's got to be to fill it, surely. Real Madrid, size small, three quid. Look at all the skags in the front of it though. No closing it today, but you'll never guess what I found over the weekend in here. Two Man City shirts. This one here is the 125 year version, size XL, four quid. This one here, this is the home shirt from four seasons ago. That was only four quid, size medium. Thing is right, the shop was jam packed full of resellers, like loads of them, all going through the rails, searching for the clothes. I was going through the toys. I saw them across the shop, thought one of those guys is bound to pick it. So didn't think twice. Finished going through the toys, turned around, no one else in the shop. They're still on the rail. Like, why did no one pick them up? Frustration. Old school box. Pound. Box is pretty decked. Oh, look at that. Board looks all right. Tons of counters, although not all official counters. It's not complete. <laughs> But it's only a pound. I'm gonna give these a crack. These are Disney Moana bath toys. They don't look particularly good quality, but people have bundled these up and they seem to sell pretty well. Hang on, there's a few more up here. There's actual Moana and the chicken. Those bath toys as well? These are all frozen, aren't they? That's gotta be a solid bundle there. Ah, there's a pig. Look at those eyes there. Probably draw me in there. Who's this? From the year 2000, play along. Using Google Lens, that is Salem off of Sabrina's a Teenage Witch. Sold listings, the last one went for a pound, but people have got this listed up for about 25 quid. The fact there is a sold listing means that someone is interested in it. It's Sabrina the Teenage Witch, isn't it? 25 quid feels very high for that. Maybe aim in the middle, tenner, what do you reckon? Very interesting that last charity shop. I popped in and there was a Ziffit rep behind the till taking the manager and some of the store staff through the app. Ziffit is one of those ones where you can scan your books, your CDs, and it will give you a price there and then add it to the basket. You send it off, they give you the money. It's just interesting that that type of app is going around targeting the charity shops and I wonder will the charity shops bother to scan through all of their DVDs, CDs and if there's any above a certain price, send off to zip it. The rest go on the shelf. If they can be bothered to put the effort in, I guess it is guaranteed money for them coming in, but it means the quality is going to dip going on the shelves. I love a die-cast farm vehicle. It's up there, combine. The front snapped off it already. It's by Joel. Looks pretty well built. £2.50. It's not complete, so I'm not getting it. It's a shame. That would have been half decent, that. Buffy Vampire Slayer. Board game up there. Which one is it? There's a couple of different versions of this. Yep. That shop's mad, right? It is absolutely rammed in there and everything is so precariously balanced. It's so full, right? You can't really have a decent look. You can only pick stuff off of the edges. That's a half decent find. Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. Paid a pound for that one. Sold about a ten up his post. I guarantee there's some absolute gems in there somewhere. Tucked away deep. There's got to be. If only you could get at them. I literally picked one of these up on the yard trail. Big track. This one's boxed. Tenner, not a bad price if it's the old one. Can't see a date on it anywhere. 
I'll look into it. By ZT, that might give us a clue. Nah, no good. The old ones are by MB, not ZT. That's one of the newer ones. Sweet little kiddies Barcelona shirt. Yeah, look. Two quid. The Liga badges on the arms. Printing's pretty decent as well. Can't see any cracking. What I'm thinking with this, right, I can bundle this in with my son's home Barcelona shirt. Sell them as a pair. Two quid. Gotta be doing that. I do love looking at these glass cabinets. They've got some really cool old toys. Anything vintage, I guess they're looking up on eBay. Alpha Probe shuttle there, 25 quid. German tank there, 30 quid. Missing a remote control. Larger size car, tenner. And then these old cars, five quid. But have a look down there. That is a G1 transformer. That one's called Searchlight. Five quid, do you reckon they know it's a transformer? I don't have that one. I'm gonna get it for the collection. What I like about it, there's not much yellowing on the plastic. It's held its color really well. Five is a solid price for that. A little Optimus rescue bot in there. There he is. One to go with a rescue bot bundle. I'm on the lookout for digital cameras now. Check this one out. Kodak C703. No scratches on the screen. No scuffs around the edges. Looks like it's been pretty well looked after. Nine quid they want for it. Average sold at 40 quid if it works. Oh, look at the state of the inside of it. Try and hold it up to the light. That plate at the bottom there, completely corroded. My camera's dead. Look at that cap in the box. Apollo 11 patch. It's just a navy cap, adjustable on the back. Made in USA. There's the tag there. No solds. But that's just a cool looking cap, isn't it? Swim fin. Not found one of these for ages. Only a quid as well. Shout out Polly Bishop. Don't have any chew marks or any skags on it, anything like that. Decent. So we got a couple of G1 Transformers up there. This one could just perch on the end there. So all in all, I'd say that sourcing trip was below average stroke poor. I think there's a potential 50 pound profit in there, but I don't know how quick that's gonna come around. Did find this awesome early 2000s yellow polyester Adidas coat though. Happy with that. That'll be good for training in the summer. But yeah, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I mean, you've got to put yourself out there because you never know what you could find anyway. But for now, I'm going to leave you with some eBay sales. I want to crack on and do some listing. Last video, right, I said that my eBay sales were completely dead. And it was basically because I was only listing one item a day, maybe, if I was lucky. The algorithm on eBay had just gone completely flat. My aim last video was to find items that were quick and easy to list. I needed to spark that algorithm. And it has just gone insane. eBay has just gone insane, right? After Wednesday, I listed up everything that I found that day on that day. And a day and a half later, I've sold 14 items. That's probably more than I had sold the entire like, week before, maybe. So from the stuff I picked up last Wednesday, Stitcher sold 15 quid. Bop It Extreme 2, that sold for 15 quid. That is pretty cheap for a Bop It mine, but the thing is look, all scratched around there, all of these rubber bits were all a bit scuffed. Dixit Daydreams expansion, that went really quick, 13 pound 50. And then these Warhammer books, these are mental. No, look at this. These Horus Hearsay books are mega popular and as soon as I listed them up, I had watches on there, I had offers flying in. These three have sold straight away. Black Library, that's the publisher to look out for and I think the reason they are popular is because they just do limited print runs. So these books are actually quite hard to find, even though in the shop they were only $7.99. Those three there, they've gone to different people. Combined price, best part of 50 quid. The popularity of these has been crazy. I think that was the most valuable, that one went for $22.50. And what that big listing session did, well, it sparked the rest of my eBay store into life. Transformers Thundercracker from one of the new films. I have kind of part transformed it, didn't quite get all the way. That one there, that sold for 15. Do not tell the jelly cat guy, but I have sold these two jelly cats. They're just a bit babyish. They don't really go into the collection. You hang them off the cot, pull them down. Shouldn't have pulled that so hard. £13.50. 
two Thomas the Tank Trains, they've gone for a tenner each. I've had these three manga books for ages, it's called Omomori Himari. Problem is they're not consecutive, they're just random. That there says parental advisory, explicit content. You can imagine, right? Those three there, £16.50. These are the putter head covers that my son found in the charity shop. Scotty Cameron. We paid a pound each for them. This is the first to sell. That went for 40 I always look out for Baby Beyond Baby carries. And this one has sold pretty quick. I paid £5 at the jumble sale a couple of weeks ago. It is a bit faded around the edges and that has hampered the price. That sold for 30 quid all in. The bank holiday weekend was pretty good for sales. I've got a right mix here. A couple of weeks ago I did pop back home, I popped into the local charity shop and I found this piece of retro BT technology. Caller Display 50. I put batteries in it, some had come up on the screen, I didn't know how to plug it into a phone. But because there was numbers on the screen that was good enough for me. That sold for about 20 all in. Game Boy Advance, Special CT Forces, I went for 12. Remember when I beat Connor in that reseller battle? In the first round, this was the winning item for me. I picked up this cafetiere. Who's it by? It's by Grunwerk, Sheffield, England. Paid a couple of quid for that, took an offer, that sold for 20 quid all in. This is a cool Yoshi. The only reason I picked this one up though, still got its original tag there. There's the Super Mario tag on the bottom, took an offer, sold for 11. Sold that Boppet the other day, didn't I? 15 quid. Well, this weekend, I sold Boppet Extreme 2 pink version in the box. I took an offer on this. Thing is, it isn't sealed. That plastic comes away, it has been opened. Cleaned out all the battery compartment, it's tested, and it works an absolute treat. That one there is sold for just under 40 quid. So that jumped 15 quid to 40. Someone has bought that for the whole package. I'm guessing it's gone to a collector. They're going to want that box to arrive in this condition. So I'm going to be really careful with how I pack that. Now this one's going to be tricky to pack as well. Check this out. I've got a Corgi McCain's Oven Chip Lorry. I bought this ages ago. In fact, I had two of these. The first one did okay, but this one has just hung around for ages. And look, this little bit of plastic here is no longer attached to the cardboard. Bit of a wreck, really. It sold for 11 quid all in, so not too much. And that's going to be a right faff to post as well, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't got any boxes that will fit around that perfectly. That's going to be a bit of a faff, that. I sold another one of these. This is Shadows of Treachery. It is first edition. The cover is in decent condition. But that one has sold for 25 quid. 25 quid for one book. Eight quid brand new. SpongeBob Plankton's Robotic Adventure. That sold for 8.50. I bought this when I met up with Connor as well. Jenga Girl Talk. The box is absolutely wrecked. Look at the state of it there. Look at the bottom of it. Minging. Right, the only way this differs from normal Jenga, the blocks are pink, but each block has got like a question on it. You know, what's your favorite food? What's your favourite clothing store? That's quite cool though. Only a Toys R Us sticker on the front there. That went so 15 quid all in. These are very cool. Reveal the Shield Transformers. Megatron and Optimus Prime. There's the little hologram sticker there. That is a real class Transformer, that one. I did bundle in this Optimus Prime, but he is missing a leg. Obviously hampered the price, hadn't it? In fact, I don't think it added anything onto the price at all. It just made that Megatron listing a bit more appealing. Those two there, as a bundle, they've sold for about 18.50. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. I'm only 85 away from 10,000. The weather is looking amazing, but it is Wales. It could be raining in about 10 minutes, but fingers crossed, this sunshine holds up for Sunday and we can hit those boot sales. Catch up with you then.